Uh, first of all, can I just remind you um, what the Churchill Trust is all about? Our ethos uh, was Sir Winston felt, bearing in mind he was a man of empire, he was a man of the northwest frontier of South Africa, he was First World War, he was Second World War, he was Cold War. He felt that if British citizens travelled to other countries, met other people and understood their issues and perspectives, it contributed to world peace. I think we can take that hugely forward today in the global society we all live in. But I think the key thing is it's a two-way relationship, your travels. So it's not just about you, it's about who you meet and the friendships and the working relationships that you're going to build up with the people that you meet and what you then do with that. Our mission, just to remind you, as his national memorial, we carry forward his legacy by funding British citizens from all walks of life to travel overseas to bring back knowledge and best practice for the benefit of others in your profession and your community. That is what we're aiming for. We've chosen you as individuals, but we've chosen you for what you're going to do to other people. And I think if you just measure your fellowship, and I'll come back to that in a minute, against two purposes of your fellowship. The first one is you as individuals. And you will be primarily the best judge of that, but your peers, your bosses and your subordinates will also be the judge of that. We hope to widen your individual experience, that you will grow in confidence, knowledge and authority and ambition, and to bring benefit to others in the UK through sharing the results of your travel experience. We are expecting you at the very least to be role models, and at best to be leaders in your profession and show the way and inspire other people. So there is a personal perspective to your fellowship, which please don't underestimate. 1,182 people applied for fellowship, and only 137 people were, were awarded one. So it's a 9.5 to 1 success rate, or 1 in 9.5. So you are stars already as far as we are concerned, and you should treat yourself, in all modesty, of course, as stars. But the second one, and the real test of a fellowship, is that we will judge you, and others will judge you, by the results provided by your example in terms of your subsequent performance and achievements and the dissemination and application of new knowledge, different perspectives and innovative solutions. So that is what we are going to judge you on, but we're not really going to be judging you, but that's what we hope to inspire you to achieve. And I think you just need to bear that in mind as you go.